Welcome to Tic Tac Toe, a series that's all about having fun with technology. My name is Bethany and I work for the Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest. Today I'll show you how to use your library's online catalog to reserve items. I'll also show you how to check your account online to renew books, pay fines, and more. To get started, go to vestavialibrary.org. Click Catalog. Enter a title, author, or keyword in the search bar. Log in to your library account for full access and to reserve items. Click Login. Enter your library card number. This is the number on the back of your library card. Do not enter any spaces. Next, enter your PIN. If you forgot your PIN, click here to reset it. If you never created a PIN, Use these instructions to create a PIN. Check this box so your device remembers your login information. You won't have to enter it again next time. Click Submit. Now that you are logged in, you can see your account information at the top. Use the filters on the left to restrict your search by things like format or location. Click on an item to see more information. Check shelf means the item should be on the shelf at that location. Even if an item is not available, you can request it to get put on the waiting list. Just click Request It. Select a library where you would like to pick up your item. You have lots of options within Jefferson County. The Vestavia Hills Library has its main library location. We also offer a self-serve book locker at Liberty Pharmacy. It's located in the Urban Center at Liberty Park. When you've picked your library, click Submit. You will be notified when your item is ready for pickup. The catalog updates to show you that you have the item on hold. Wasn't that easy? Now that you know how to log into the catalog, browse for items, and place items on hold, let's explore our library account. To check your account, Click My Account. You can see what items you currently have checked out and view their due dates. An item automatically renews within two days of the due date if no one is waiting on the item. It will auto-renew no more than two times. If you want to manually renew an item yourself, you can try it here. It won't let you renew it if it's too early or if the item has already been renewed twice. You can also get information on any fines and pay them online. Click Holds to review your holds. Here's the hold I just made. You can cancel the hold if you decide you no longer want or need the item.
A reading history is a chronological list of all the items you've checked out in the past. It's turned off by default. Click Save Reading History to turn it on. Now, the next time you check out items, you will see them in your history. The reading history is visible only to you. It does not become visible to anyone else. Librarians will never have access to your reading history. If you change your mind and want to stop collecting your reading history, you can always opt out. Finally, don't forget about your digital reads. Click My eBooks to see your digital checkouts and read them through the OverDrive app. I prefer using the newer Libby app for my digital materials. You can find my video on getting started with the Libby app and other technology videos at the Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest YouTube page. Just click the Technology Playlist. And don't forget to like us on Facebook to stay up to date with all the happenings at your library. Go to vestavialibrary.org and choose Technology to see what tech videos are coming next. Thanks for watching.